most embarrassing camp story. Ooh, you guys are gonna make me choose. We were in the middle of chapel, and we were dancing around going crazy as camp, camp students go. And I, unbeknownst to me, I had accidentally bumped my phone on a, on a kid. The kid was dancing, bumped my phone, ended up dialing 911. Um, so what happened is the cops were called, and all they hear is yelling and screaming and crazy camp things. And freaked out, sent three cop cars, three of them, to the camp, drove up and bust through the doors of the chapel. All of us turn, and sure enough, <laughs> we, they thought that at Riverside Lutheran Bible Camp, there were just hundreds of children being tortured or something. <laughs> I never went to camp. <laughs> Is that embarrassing enough? Probably the most embarrassing one. The time the other lifeguards and I went skinny dipping in the pool, and the camp director came out because we were making so much noise. And was like, what are you guys doing? And we weren't really supposed to be like swimming. <laughs> but it was like pitch black and so like our swimsuits were up on the deck and our faces were like that and so it was like really obvious. There's a cabin of little girls that made up a love song about me. And uh, so at at like morning flag bell <laughs> raising they uh, they sang it in front of the entire camp and uh, yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> So, I was naked in front of the camp director and I was working, so my boss. Thanks. Yeah, I wonder if it's like embarrassing for me or for them. I think it's embarrassing for all of us in the story. I had a camp counselor once and he really liked this other lady. There was this uh, other young man and he was also a camp counselor and I I guess he had some interest in me, and so he would always like hang around me. He was about to uh, propose to her at camp, and he did later that week. But I was making jokes like, "Oh, you should add, you should propose to her," and I was like messing around, and he was kind of like trying to keep me quiet. The kids that I was counseling over, they'd be like, "Oh, who's that?" Uh -huh. After dinner, he like raced me down, tackled me, and like dropped my pants. Put my boxers like up on my shoulders, so it really hurt. And he was like carrying me around camp, and everyone was looking at me, and I was really embarrassed. And then he threw me in the lake. Eventually, I had to talk to him and be like, "So, what does this actually really mean?" And I had to have, you know, that DTR. Yeah, he was really fun. I loved it. <laughs> I wish I had an embarrassing camp story. 